Hey everyone, I'm Cassandra. Today we're in the studio of Hermitude. I'm so excited to go and meet them. Follow me. We met in the school band and um, we, you know, Dubs was playing piano and I was playing drums and then we kind of formed our own, own band. Writing as a duo was great because like if one person's kind of, you know, not feeling overly creative then the other person can kind of step in and kind of help out and, yeah, cool. and maybe spark an idea that kind of gets the other person going, oh yeah, that's yeah. cool, how about yeah. this? And, I'm assuming that you spend quite a bit of time in here working. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> do you, what, what exactly are you doing? Like, are you <laughs> at the moment we're doing a remix for someone, and you know, we obviously just finished up our record, so we, we spent a good solid year in here just making that. We pulled it back to just a laptop and like two synthesizers and, wow. and drums and stuff like that. And um, previously, like Hyper Paradise, we wrote well, with like a multitude of analog synths and yeah. just sort of, well, everything in the kitchen sink, you know, it's like we just threw it all in there. But um, <clears throat> so for, that was that was a difference and that's like a, a direction that we wanted to go was being more stripped back, mm. and more focused in mm. on like the, the main aspect of, of the song or, or like the melody. The Juno 6. Okay. Made by Roland. Early, early 80s, I believe, or maybe even 79, who knows? <laughs> you can't save any patches on it, so every time you oh. go to it, you just make the sound and record it, and that's it. You can, you, unless you leave it like that, you can't go back to it. <laughs> records and then I guess the last record was a bit more the last two records maybe were a little bit more brighter and shinier um, the Juno just kind of sits in mm. everywhere handing over the record at the end of the record and with all the stuff you've been working on for a year is always like oh. a nerve-wracking experience because yeah. you're, you're like you're never sure. giving out your, oh, yeah. your artistic baby to the past. Mm. You've worked on something so hard and you've devoted your whole life to it. Right, yeah. So of course you do care what people think about it, <laughs> yeah. but you can't obsess over it. Yeah. Because it's, yeah. yeah. At the end of the day, it isn't as important as how you feel about it, you know. And if yeah. you're really proud of it, then you know that's awesome. And you know you've done you've done your job, I guess. You've done yeah. what you've set out to do. Dancing and like you know body movement and like music combined mm. with all that make you feel so oh, so great you just know? alive so it's kind of cool that we can give that to people as well and yeah but it's a cyclical energy because when they start vibing and dancing it comes back to us right and the energy, it's, yeah. yeah it's like if you can get that that cycle going it's it's magic <laughs> 